What's up parents and welcome back to our channel Kidspiration. Today we're diving into a topic that concerns so many parents nowadays and that is the negative effects of screen time on our kids. Now we all know that technology is such a significant part of our lives especially considering the fact that children now get so much homework online as well but it's really important to be aware of the potential downsides that this excessive amount of screen time has on our kids. So we're going to talk about a few today. The first thing I'm going to touch on is the impact that screens have on our children's sleep. So excessive screen time has been linked to sleep disturbances in children. There was a study published in the Journal of Pediatrics. I will leave the link for that below in case you want to see it yourself. Um, but the study showed that kids who spend more time on screens tend to have much shorter sleep durations and a poorer sleep quality. Quality sleep is so important for their overall well-being and development. A lot of brain development happens during the sleep cycle. Um, your brain cleans itself at night. Um, so this lack of sleep can really affect the way that they grow and develop. The next thing I'm going to mention is how screens contribute to reduced physical activity. So with the rise of screens, outdoor play and physical exercise has taken a huge backseat. If you think just to 20 years ago when, uh, 20, 30 years ago when most of us were children, um, child life just looked very different than it does now. And now because of the rise of screens and what has been dubbed the iPad kid generation, none of these children are getting the time outside or the playtime, the movement, playing tag and these kinds of things with their friends the way that we used to when we were kids. Now the recommended amount of time per day for children for physical activity is at least 60 minutes and of course excessive screen time often means less time for active play and it's not children's version of physical activity does not look like what we think for ourselves as adults like going to the gym or you know running a marathon or anything like that but children just playing in a park and running around and playing tag playing manhunt um, just playing with their friends on a jungle gym it can do wonders for their health and screen time often um, takes away from their ability to do that. Next up is the negative impact on mental health that excessive screen time has. Research has shown a connection between extended screen time and adverse effects on mental health. Excessive use of screens has been associated with higher levels of anxiety and depression in children. There was a study published in the Journal of Pediatrics, which again I will leave in the uh, description box below so you can check it out yourself if you'd like, but the study found that more than three hours of daily screen time was linked to higher levels of depression and anxiety symptoms in children. So we really want to make sure that we're monitoring the amount of screen times our kids are getting. Next up is how screen time impairs our children's social skills. Screens also hinder the development of social skills. Face-to-face -face interactions are essential for children to learn empathy, communication, cooperation, sharing. I mean, there's so many things that face-to-face -face interactions give that screens just can't. Excessive screen time can lead to a lack of these vital social skills and it really can affect their relationships in the long run. Now, a very quick story. I met a woman who was a teacher, is a teacher. She's been a teacher for over 17 years and we were talking about the difference in children from when she first started teaching in the early 2000s to now and specifically the difference of children before covid and the children being at home with the virtual school and after covid when they had to come back to school and she was telling me that what she notices is that most children nowadays are not capable of building bonds with each other because they don't know how to have meaningful conversations she was explaining that the children have what she calls Twitter conversations, meaning very short, very small bursts of, you know, words back and forth within each other. And because they're not able to develop deep relationships with each other, they end up really sad and feeling lonely, even though they're in a classroom surrounded by their peers. And a lot of the children are feeling this way because they don't have the social skills to build friendships, to build relationships. And this is a result of these children being on screens at home in their houses for a good year, year and a half, even in some places, even more than that. 
And um, it's just something to consider when you think about how screen time can really affect the children in the long term. Now, the last thing I'm going to touch on for today is the negative impact on academic performance that excessive screen time has. Um, a study published in the Journal of Youth and Adolescents found that higher screen time was associated with lower academic performance in adolescents. Distractions from screen can interfere with homework and study time. Distractions from homework will vary from age to age, with our younger kids more likely to be engaged in something like Roblox and our older kids, you know, being more engaged in other types of video games and things like that. Uh, YouTube is kind of the, has a monopoly on a lot of our children nowadays as well. So it's just important to make sure that our kids are able to complete their schoolwork and their homework within means um, without too many distractions from screens. So there you have it. Those are five really important reasons why we need to be mindful of our children's screen time. It's really important to strike a balance and encourage a healthy relationship with technology. We don't want to tell our kids that, oh, technology is, you know, should never be used ever. Because as they get older, technology is going to be used as they go into the workforce. And it's important that they have at least some familiarity with it. And at this point, you can't really avoid using technology because of how many schools require their kids to do work online and things like that. But we want to just make sure that our kids are having a well-rounded childhood and not just spending all of their younger years at screens. If you stuck around to the end of this video, thank you very much. I know this is a little bit longer than we typically do here on this channel. But if you found this information helpful, please make sure to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more parenting tips, and share your thoughts in the comments below. If you have any suggestions on how to help mitigate the whole screen time situation with your kids, leave them down below to encourage some other parents as well. Parenting in this digital age requires a very, very thoughtful approach. So let's all commit to reducing our children's screen time in 2024. Until next time, happy parenting.